ground of the Logitech G Pro Invitational. It's a good jump from Jared Wilsell and Ethan Warren. They've gotten away nice and cleanly. The field spreads out in the turn one. Hopefully they can all get through cleanly. And it looks like Jared Wilsell's got the jump. The rest of the field traveling through turn one and they are all clean so far. They're all a little bit of contact there back in the field, but it looks like they gave it up. It was one of the TTR cars, but these guys very, very much giving each other just some room. They know how long this race is and it's crucial that they don't get into drama in this opening lap. Look into the inside. Whoa, I've got to say. Oh, oh, he gave him a ledge. He gave him a ledge. Oh, contact too. So a little bit of contact. I tell you what, the stewards will be looking at that. They look like a little bit of nose to tail action. Oh, no, there's big drama back too as well. More cars off. This looks like someone's almost oh, heading for the barrier. Kobe Jones is involved. We have a whole championship ahead and you're already doing this. Look at the move down the inside. It's Marcelo Rivera having a look on Lee Ellis. Ellis is oh, wide. He's, he's locked the rear. Yeah, that's off. Yep. Oh, he's got a little join, be careful! Oh, lucky the other cars didn't nail him on entry. So, Brodie Kostecki in the lane, is this an early tyre stop? Uh, we'll, we'll find that one out later when we have a look at the, the data from that pit stop. But look at this, Ethan Warren punting Wade Burke. He's going to have another look at this one again. He's going to move the inside, not going to get it done. He needs to sacrifice that move and, and try and set him up for the hairpin. I think that's his best opportunity. I get what he's trying to do, but I think he's just... He's not there in there. He's going to try here though. Oh, he's going to think about it. He's gone late on the brakes. He's got position. A little bit of give and take into that turn. Oh, the slightest of contact. Maybe the bend of a mirror perhaps. But these guys giving each other plenty of room. It's right up the inside. These are going to be running side by side through the next turn. Who's going to give it on the brakes? Who's going to give it? Who's going to take it? They're going to give the position. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he saved it though. Well done. Lost the position to Maloney as well, but he saved it and he can find another day. Either Brad Ryan's made up some spots, 23rd to 16th, but he's under pressure from Hobson. Ooh. Down the inside, a little bit of a break lock. This time, no grass to help him around. Gets the job done. Nice and tight squeeze on the exit, but makes it work. And now moves up into P15. Always on us as we say that. Here he is, Phil Cell in the lane. There we go. And he's doing all the undercut. So yes. this is where we want to see how Everyone much time. In. Yeah, everyone's just said, right, bite the bullet. Unfortunately, Burton's going to go that extra lap. So that could hurt him. So, down. so we'll see who comes off first. Here comes Kostecki. I think Kostecki's going to jump all of them. And Anderson's jumped yeah, also. Anderson. I was going to say, Anderson well, got a great stop there, but Kostecki's got the position as well. Anderson managed to jump full cell. So that's that's a great move from Anderson. Burton has to pit. Is he going to pit? Yes, yeah. he is. All right, so now this is where we try and take point of what Burton does and how far he comes out. Where does he come out when he rejoins? He's still, Burton's in. still in the pits. He still hasn't dropped. He's only yeah, just he's dropped. dropped now. I think he's oh, going to get him. Yep. I, think, I think they're all going to get him. Yep. Wow, there we go. And that was only a one lap difference. One lap wow. difference. And look at the difference that it made. Wow, oh, Mitchins and has Stenberg for company looking all around down uh, into the hairpin. It's going to give you a bump on the exit of the hairpin too. Just not going to give him any bit of space to come out of turn number seven. Yeah, uh, as we say that in the pits. Felsal in, Anderson in, Warren in. Wow. Now. Okay, that surprised me. We get to the, oh, he's he's going to look up on the inside. Yeah, he the he had a oh. look. No, good, well done from Hobo. Blade on the brakes, I think, and that's going to actually, yep, he has, he let the door open on the exit. Nah. <laughs> I held my breath for a second when we yeah. asked him out, sort of camera shot. Oh, and here we go. Bit. He's going to have a look at it here. He's on the outside for this turn, but if he can hold position, he's the inside, so it'll be the inside of Hobson. Oh, it's going to be close. No contact. Brilliant driver between Hobson and Kostecki. So here's Burton. Burton's out of the pits. Phil Cell's gone past. So we'll put him into P2 by the looks of it for Burton. P2 for Burton and just not enough as there's Anderson. So the gaps have sort of readjusted wow. themselves for what we had before the first cycle of pit stops there, Sam Ham, because that's a roughly about the same gap that we had between Phil Cell and Anderson. But Phil Cell's gained a little bit in that second stint because Burton wasn't right there. Wow. Wow. Did you just see that? David, I was about to say the gap <laughs> was coming down to under three tenths, but a 201.489 from Jake Burton. And that is what you call a statement straight away back 
You want to do the fast start, Jared? All right, I can go do one better. Here's a couple of tenths out of that, and now let's race. So three tenths is the gap between first and second, and it's on. As a move for the race lead, Burton down the inside in the sunset and gets the job done. Wow. Was not expecting that so soon, but he's got it done. It would have been the draft help down into Sunset, but he's done the work that he needs to do. Coming back, oh, here we go. Is he going to have a look? Oh, he oh, thought about he it. He thought did. about it in his turn one. And now these guys are on for P number three. Anderson. Oh, is it straight wide? Are you kidding me? No way. Be careful. You don't want to cause drama in the last stages of this race. Three wide into turn one. Hold your breath. Stuff between the teammates. Brilliant stuff, look at the move, nothing between the cigarette paper between the two TTR Commodores. Brilliant stuff as these guys battle it out, and Ethan Warren's just there trying to hold on, gets the job done, under brakes, side by side, still into the turn, it hasn't been decided yet, they're still battling it out, this could go either way, three cars battling it out for the last step on the podium. And as we go back to this battle, Freya to the inside and we're at Ryan. He's going to hold it, they're giving each other room, both Mustangs. They're going to get himself clear, Freya job done as he goes around the big bend, turn number six. Look at Burton, and he is not giving an inch. Yeah, I thought he was going to try the over and under, look at him now, he'll think about the inside, Burton will cover, so Fuel Cell's going to have a look at the outside. Will he try the over and under again? Burton's going to know, oh, was that contact again? A beautiful fake, a dive up the inside, and that's a lead, that's a lead for Burton. No, Burton's going to hold on, Fuel Cell sideways. What a move from Fuel Cell, he wasn't able to pull it off, but wow. That is what you call it. He's pushing Phil a bird through the corner and Phil so he's on it. A white flag in Barney's land as we move into toe one. Phil Cell look to the outside. We're gonna try under over and under again. I'm sure Bert's gonna want that position again, but he's oh, a little bit of a I think he thought about going to the outside, then decided to lay back. He goes. He's got it! He's done it up the inside, side by side, contact, a little bit of Robin's race, and nothing wrong with that as these cars bounce over the curbs. Side by side, they know it's the dirt standards! I wanted to do it! These guys aren't giving an inch! They know it's the final lap! It's all gonna come down to this one! They're still door bagging down the Look at Myers! Myers and Anderson are back in this race. Burton's still in the race lead. Look at Phil Sell now trying to set up another over and under. He's gonna get it. Oh, he got a little bit of a worse exit than Burton. What was that? There's now nothing between these two and the guys behind. It is on Sam, man. Yeah, but for Phil Sell. Here goes Phil Sell again, outside. No, he can't do it. He tried to do the over and under cross, but Burton knew. It looks like a little bit of damage to that boost mobile Commodore. That might hurt him a little bit. Only half a lap to go. It's bringing the TTR cars into this battle. We didn't pick it. There was a four second gap. These guys battling. It looks like he's up the inside. He's going to hold on. Phil Sell gets the job done. He's not giving up. Burton won't give an inch. Takes more no look in the pelt. It's all coming down to the final corners. Here we go, side by side as we come down into Lamar. And Burton's got the cover. Dives it down the inside to block the run. Phil Sells run. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's 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 oh, Myers is picking up the pieces. He's going to try the over and under. Anderson, that's four cars coming to the final corner. What is this? It's got the Phil Sells. Myers might have this. He's got the run on Burton. What is this? Someone needs to go to the outside to try the over and under. Yep. Oh, the pressure's on Burton. He's tried to hold on all race long. The TTR cars are right there. Myers going to try the inside. Hey, Anderson may block it, but it looks like Burton's going to hold on. He's going to take hey, out hey, an incredible victory here for the opening round of the Logitech 2. He's out of fuel. Oh, he's out of, out of fuel. Myers holds it for a while and he didn't take it. Myers takes it. Unbelievable! Hollywood couldn't script it! <laughs> Hollywood couldn't script it! What is this? What just happened?